What's up, everybody? So I want to just make a quick video about an injury that occurs in the NFL um, and in sports and athletes and also with normal people, uh, with regular non-athletes. Uh, it's the injury called torn labrum. And Baker Mayfield, who uh, is quarterback, who was the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, suffered a torn labrum this year. He had, uh, looked it up. He had a completely torn labrum and fraying in his left and his non-throwing shoulder. Um, so his labrum was completely torn, and he also had fraying in his non-throwing shoulder. Okay, Baker Mayfield was scheduled to have surgery January 19th, according to where I looked up, and his rehab was going to be four to six months. So somewhere like in June, maybe he would be, you know, uh, recovered if all things go well. So I just wanted to make a quick video about, uh, I looked up the torn labrum just to see what it was, what, what it was all about. So I'm just to give you a little information about that. So what is it? What is a torn labrum? Uh, it says it's an injury to, it's an in injury to the ring of cartilage in the shoulder joint. So in the shoulder joint, you know, where the, the arm and the shoulder go in, there must be like a ring of cartilage in that shoulder joint. And that that cartilage gets injured. Um, what is the labrum? So what is the labrum? It's a cup-shaped rim of cartilage that lines and reinforces the ball and joint socket of the shoulder. So it's a cup-shaped rim of cartilage that lines and reinforces the ball and joint socket of the shoulder. So when that gets, when that cartilage that's in, that lines the ball and joints, when that gets injured, that's called a torn labrum. What does it feel like? Uh, when I looked it up, it says some people experience shoulder pain, instability, feeling of, it feel like your shoulder's grinding, feel like your shoulder's locking or catching types it says there are two types of uh torn labrum injuries one's called a slap it stands for superior labrum from anterior anterior to posterior so this occurs this type of labrum injury occurs at the front of the upper arm uh, where the bicep tendon connects the shoulder um, so this type of injury occurs up here that will be a slap um, it said mostly in ath the athletes that get this type of injuries are baseball pitchers and volleyball players, people who have their arm like above their head a lot. There's also a bank art tears. It's B-A-N-K-A-R-T tears. This occurs typically during dislocation when it slips out, can pull on the labrum and tear it. So like your shoulder here. So here's your shoulder inside. Your arm is in the, the shoulder, the arm joint is inside the shoulder joint and it pulls out. It dislocates. When it does that, it like, it must pull up against the labrum and it tears it. Okay. Healing. It says, how does, how does the labrum heal? In some cases, it says rest and therapy. It says that most doctors will try to use the least aggressive type of treatment as possible if they can get away with using physical therapy and rest they will do that they'll they'll try to avoid surgery but they will go to surgery if the tear gets if the tear continues to get worse after rehab or or physical therapy doesn't help heal it then they will need to get some surgery done so what's the recovery time for this for a torn labor it says athletes may require six months to one year um of recovery time so if if baker mayfield had a torn labrum early on in the year he was playing with a bad shoulder like a torn labrum the whole year in his throwing in his throwing shoulder or in his non-throwing shoulder i mean he just he was playing with pain all year it says uh, most doctors uh advise people with a torn labrum to Wear a sling at least for the first four weeks after surgery to, to keep it stable so it's not moving and it heals. How how can a person <clears throat> once they get the surgery, the torn labrum, it says that most people can get back to about 80% of how they were pre-injury. 
So that was just uh, some information about what a torn labrum is. Um, I know you, we, you've probably been hearing about Baker Mayfield and other athletes or other people who have had torn labrums. They say normal people can get them sometimes when they make, like if they take a fall down the stairs and they injure their shoulder, they can get a torn labrum injury. But this is just, I wanted to share some information with you um, about a torn labrum. Uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to like, message, subscribe, um, talk about Baker Mayfield, labrum injuries or whatever. It uh, doesn't matter. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you for listening. Peace.